This photo I took this morning when I was in Kingsbury Water Park. It's a nice, uh, I like the sweep of the, of the foreground little beach area and you can, you can just about make out the, the boats and the building there towards the horizon line. So I'll have a quick go at creating an impression of this. So I'm using the large hake and using clean water, just wetting it all over. And once that's on, straight into the raw sienna. No particular order, just bang it in. Clean brush. And then it's ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue. A bit on that side and then just working around the clouds. And then where the water's going to be. Bashing it in. So we've got a reflection of the sky in there. Might even put a few of the uh, few grey clouds. We go clean brush, lizard in crimson, Payne's grey. And then somewhere along there we'll put a Maybe just a little bit, a little bit of that cloud colour reflected in the water. Not too much. That'll do. Clean the brush. And I'm going back to the raw sienna, ultramarine. Sort of very bluey green, but using the same colours as the sky to help create that sense of depth, distance. And then I'm going two thirds of the way up the page. And then I'm going to put in those distant trees, just in the one tone, because they're so far away, you can't pick out tones at that distance. Try and keep those level. And then the ones on the, the ones towards the, the right side are a little bit nearer, so I'm going to Try and create a little bit more sort of definition, a bit more colour, warm it up as it comes closer towards us. Just various mixes of ultramarine. And raw sienna. You just work that away, just over to the right hand side of the paper. So that's the most distant trees in. Maybe even a little flick here and there where you can see the, see the trunks coming through. That's dried evenly, stretched evenly rather, so I'm just going to pull it tight so I've got a flat surface. To work with. So that's the paper stretched. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I can see a little bit of a little bit of uh, grass on the far side. So I'm just going to go lemon yellow, just a touch of raw sienna with lemon yellow. And just putting that little, little little bit of grassy area. Only very tiny little bit. That'll do for that. Now on this side, I'm going to go burnt umber, ultramarine, raw sienna, and then I'm just going to put in the, the sort of button. Maybe even a bit of light red in it as well. Put in these bushes. It's a bit stronger. And the 
Let's sort of twigs and branches going all the way around, all over here. Do a few with the rigger as well. Number three rigger, dark mix, plenty of water. And then a few more twigs and branches sticking out of it. Need a bit more water on that. Side. A few flicks with a fingernail. A bit of light red, light red, all burnt umber, ultramarine. Now what I might do, you can't see it so much in the, you can see it slightly in the photo, but there are some reflections in that water so I'm just going to give it a quick wet and then one colour and then back to that raw sienna burnt umber mix and just pop down Pretty happy with that area there. Um, can I get rid of it? Gotta be careful here not to make a complete mess of it, but I might just about get away with that. I didn't really mean to do the reflections there. But I might just about get away with it. Anyway, continuing with the foot, coming right down to the foreground, I'm going raw sienna. You can see the green again now, so raw sienna, lemon yellow, bit more, bit more of a greeny colour, bit more ultramarine, lemon yellow. And that's the that's the sort of grassy area, and then we've got the sort of muddy bank, which is more raw sienna. Ultramarine, burnt umber, and we've got these sort of shadows underneath this little sort of ledge, ledge bit. So a sort of no, I don't think I'll put that in. I'm not keen on the uh, whatever you call it going across there. But just doing this sort of little beach area. Now let's get it on nice and dark, and then I'll. I'll get the. Uh, out and just do some you can't there aren't many rocks but we won't do any harm just to suggest one or two maybe even do a few reeds 
few little grasses growing here and there. And then switch to the card. Maybe some little little rocks in the corner here. I think I'll I think I'll call that one finish. If I just switch to the rigger, maybe put a couple of birds. Two or three birds flying over. Same with the rigger. Dark mix. Not enough water on that. Pop your signature in the corner, and that's another one finished. I hope you like that. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon. In fact, no, I won't. I'll see you right now. I'll just. I've got to show you the, the comparison with the uh, photograph. So if we look again at the photograph, I haven't put the uh, the, the ducks in and the, and the wildlife, but you can see I've got the, the sort of most of the elements in the right place. And as usual, just just kept it as simple as I could. So StephenCroning.com for the sales of paintings. There's also DVDs available if you'd uh, for those who wish to to purchase. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.